moving on to Bola Metcalf, which manufactures plastics, plastic moldings, and carbonated soft drinks creeping into the business yeah, model. So they got and bought their way into a business called Quality Beverages, but they've been taking about three years to offload it. It's being sold and unbundled out of the group. So that's not going to be part of the business anymore. But the business itself is cape based and has done a reasonable job and it's also got a solid market share in its space. Market cap here is 888.7 million Rand. Price to earnings ratio 8.9. Dividend yield of 4.9. 1%. So it doesn't actually make it into your size mm. because you really like to yeah. look at things above a billion rand mm. in market cap. No, I would agree with that. I mean, also looking at the liquidity, I mean, if, you, if you're going to put any sizable funds into it, uh, you can easily get trapped inside the, the stock. So there is that risk as well. But uh, overall, I mean, remember, Bala Metcalf has been on the market for a long time. It's been a very stable you know, performer. But as Paul said, I mean, it's been unbundling a, a huge amount of things. I mean, quality beverages is another one. But this has all got to do with a soft bev deal that they're doing at the yes. moment. So it's, it's, it's going through a re restructuring. <laughs> it's it's, it's a, in, a, in a, I don't know, it's, it's a very, again, a, a speculative buy if you're going to go that way but uh, for us we would probably be avoiding at this stage. Mm. Paul there's the share price mm. and you can give it a hot or not. So not much going on there that's a sort of flat to sideways mm. mid cap or small cap type stock. The SAS family are the controlling shareholders and Friedel SAS I think now is the CEO his dad Horst was the founder and then Michael Brain you remember Michael Brain he was the CEO he's since retired. I don't know too small for me not hot. Mm. Yeah not hot for me either.